Not happening. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? You've been at Weishaupt for some time now. Do you like it here? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you've cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Ha! Let's wipe them out. All right. Ah. Yes. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No, I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. I don't know. This place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island. If you're lucky. I don't know much. I... I think the Sloth Demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the Sloth Demon. But you have to get to them first. I... I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. Yes. Obstacles and mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. The silly thing fled before I could question it. Because almost everyone here is a dreamer, except for the spirits and the demons, I suppose. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage, or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. Not much. You couldn't say we were friends, really. Demons have their own hierarchies. They play their own games and mortal servers. Pawns, perhaps even bargaining chips. 
The demon keeping us here probably rules this entire section of the Fade. It'll not let us go easily, if at all. Nothing dampens your spirit, does it? I don't know whether to admire or pity you. Don't mind me, then. Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door, a door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? I... I don't know. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. be a nice help in it for us.
turns. You must die. Yes, all right. The anger. Fading. I am free. Take Ragos's power. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards sloth. He bars the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way.
trust anybody. Let's wipe them out. It's time to die! <laughs> Thank you. It is time for this dream to come to an end. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare! them out quickly.
Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Why was I spared? If not to help them, what use is my life? Now that I have failed in the task that was given me, leave me to my grief. I shall bury their bones, scatter their ashes to the four winds, and mourn their passing till I too am dead. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. You do not know me. You have no right to make such judgments. The Fade. I have not considered that. I have always had an affinity for the Fade, and I would assume I would be able to recognize it. Some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Don't leave us, Wynn. You don't want to be alone. Holy Maker. Stay away, foul creature. Stay, Wynn. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the Earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. No, no, no not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. We should do something. <laughs> see it? What? Leave me to my grief. Your blatant disregard. You do not know me. You have no right to make such ju- I do not know what this will accomplish, but I will do this if it will satisfy you. It is difficult. Perhaps some time away from this- Holy Maker, stay- S Come! Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. They died and I did not stop it. Death. Leave me to my grief. Your blatant disre- You do not know me. Perhaps some time away from- Holy Maker. S Come! Is it over? Thank the Maker for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going?
there any shortage of these ones? All right. And I'm on. Going. them but not all their leaders are behind the unbreakable door I give you my wisdom it will let you see and now I wait
catch me if you can. I know you want to. Blessed art thou who exist in the sight of the Maker. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. I beg you, do not disturb the girl's meditations. Revere Mother, I do not know this person. I'm sorry, but I... I don't know what you're talking about. Please do not vex her. She needs quiet and solitude to calm her mind and heal her heart. Why are you saying these things about the revered mother? Please go away. I remember there was a sign. Lediana, we have discussed this sign of yours. The Maker does not care to interfere in the affairs of mortals. This vision was likely the work of demons. The Maker cares for us. I believe he misses his wayward children as much as we miss him. My vision may not be from him, but it guides me to do what is right. My revered mother knew this. I don't know who you are, but you are not her. This is your home, your refuge. Do you truly wish to leave the comfort of this place behind? Stay and know peace. There is no need. I carry the peace of the Chantry in my heart. You are going nowhere, girl. I will not permit it. No, she is ours, now and forever. Huh. <laughs> Just woken up from a terrible nightmare. I believe we had some task to accomplish. Let us be on our way. Wait, what's happening to me? It's great to see you again. I was just thinking about you. Isn't that a marvelous coincidence? This is my sister, Goldana. These are her children, 
And there's more about somewhere. <laughs> We're one big happy family, at long last. What are you talking about? Well, Alistair, is your friend staying for supper? Say you'll stay. Goldana's a great cook. Maybe she'll make her mince pie. You can, can't you? Of course, dear brother. Anything for you. You're acting really strangely. All right, if it makes you happy. I... It's a little fuzzy. That's strange. Alistair, come and have some tea. No. Wait. I remember a... tower. The circle. It was under attack. There were demons. That's all I really remember. Are you saying this is a, a dream? But it's so real. Of course it's real. Now wash up before supper and I... Something doesn't feel quite right here. I... think I have to go. No. He is ours, and I'd rather see him dead than free. Yes. Anna? I can't believe it. How did I not see this earlier? Yes, uh, well, try not to tell everyone how easily fooled I was. Are we going now? Wait, where are you going? What's happening to me? Hey! What did you do? I felt something. Like the Earth was shifting. Except it probably wasn't the Earth. You did? You managed to get to it? I... I didn't think it was possible. Killing that demon must have opened something. Perhaps... Perhaps the pieces are falling into place now.
Not much. I know that it stops blood mages from taking over your mind. I don't even know who or what a Drala is. You're better off asking someone more knowledgeable. Aldred is the mastermind behind it all. At Aldred's suggestion, the Circle was about to ally itself with Loghain when the Tern's treachery was revealed. Aldred made excuses, but we were having none of it. He panicked then, tried to leave. Irving would not let him. I was barely paying attention. Such meetings are boring. The course of action usually decided before we even congregate. Aldred let loose a bolt of energy that flung us all against the far wall. That woke me up. It might have been a signal. That was when a whole group of mages poured into the chamber. And that was when I saw real blood magic in action for the first time in my life. It was like they brought the wrath of the Maker himself down upon our heads. I was just getting to that. Aldred must have also dabbled in demonology. When the fighting started, he tried to summon something, or, or some things. They overwhelmed him, and when his screaming stopped, Aldred was... gone. I'm sure he wishes he were dead. Aldred became an abomination. And when I saw it, I ran for my life. I was in a panic. Once I calmed down, I thought about what would happen if... That thing got out. I gathered some of my fellows and we obtained the litany from the stockroom. I thought if we disabled the others, we could throw everything we had at Aldred. But I saw my friends fall, one by one. And now it's my turn. I don't want it to end like this. Do you feel it? It's getting so cold. escaped slave? <laughs> my, my, but you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. Oh, here I am. And there you are. You just disappeared. Well, no matter. You tried to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us, don't you? You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very, very hurt. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. All right. <laughs> Yes. 
beat at the demon. I never thought of... I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, uh, take the litany of Adrala from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you, it will have been an afternoon's nap. Your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of the demon. Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me, using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. Thank you, but it is too late for me. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the Maker in death. And that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the Circle. But you... You can. Take the litany off my... My body when you return. It is important. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. Dark times, greater acts of heroism, eh? You may be right. Before I was taken to the circle, my mother said I was meant for greatness. I would be more than my ancestors could have ever dreamed. I hope I haven't disappointed her. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye, friend.